Welcome to the Methods in Cell Biology webcast series, Volume 1, The History of MCB. For over 35 years, MCB has been providing researchers new technologies and cutting-edge discoveries in the field of cell biology. Series editors Paul Matsudaira and Les Wilson ensure that each volume provides proven, state-of-the-art techniques, along with relevant historical background and theory, to aid researchers in efficient design and effective implementation of experimental methodologies. I've been a series editor in MCB for, gosh, I should say, since 1982 or so. And the history is, is, is quite interesting. It was originally started, the series was started by David Prescott at uh, University of Colorado at uh, Boulder. And he decided around the early 80s that he wanted to give it up, and he had done 20 odd uh, uh, volumes. And um, since Keith Porter, who was president of the American Society for Cell Biology at the time, uh, was in the same department, uh, he organized a committee of half a dozen people that they called at that time the Publications Committee to try to determine how the, or what the best way might be for the ASCB uh, to take over uh, and con continue the series. I've been editor for almost 20 years. Uh, I came in in the early 90s. Uh, I think the reason I was asked to be uh, an editor uh, with Les was because I had developed uh, a method for sequencing proteins. Uh, organized a, a methods book for academic press, and then uh, I was asked to uh, join Les in uh, editing uh, these volumes. What Paul and I uh, try to do in the series, we try to anticipate uh, new developments in cell biology as cell biology expands and, and the technology develops. And uh, the goal and strategies that, uh, that uh, Paul and I try to use among those goals uh, is to try to anticipate uh, new developments in the field. We attend most of the cell biology meetings uh, and see what's going on, see what's hot, see what's developing and anticipate those developments with methods volumes that, that then uh, those volumes can help lead the field and stimulate interest in, 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 the, in the particular field, especially among young people entering, entering science. More than a set of protocols, MCP teaches the history and theory behind the techniques and strategies and provides insight into the kinds of questions they are capable of answering. Each volume is organized and edited by leaders in the field, providing a unique combination of conceptual background and methodological detail. A volume that we published right at the right moment was the Cell Death volume by Osborne and Schwartz. Uh, we had seen that uh, this was uh, an emerging hot area in biology, but uh, getting the right people to uh, edit a volume was really the important step. And uh, when that volume came out, it just took off. And uh, a couple, uh, few, not that soon afterwards, we came out with a second uh, volume uh, titled Apoptosis, which again reflected how the uh, field was was moving. One of the things that uh, you can see in a successful volume is that it goes beyond our target audience, which are the cell biologists. And in the case of uh, video microscopy or fluorescence microscopy or apoptosis volumes, uh, people working in other areas will pick up those volumes because they're moving into that area from their own, uh, from their own discipline. During its tenure, MCB has built up a deep library of biological methods, and this year we are honored to celebrate the publishing of the 100th volume of MCB. I think when we first uh, started working together on the series, uh, I, we were fortunate in that cell biology really matured in its own unique way, so that people who formerly were molecular biologists are now asking questions about that molecular biology in the cell. And uh, as a result, we've 
never had to work very hard in figuring out, well, what are some volumes we should think about in the future? And uh, I think back, you know, 20 years now, uh, it's been a lot of fun doing the series. It hasn't been a lot of work, and the time really has gone by fast. You know, when we realized that the 100th volume will come out in 2010, we were surprised because we just weren't keeping track of how fast the uh, ideas were, were developing. Thinking back, I had no idea that we would be doing this for so long and that it would be so wildly successful. Several decades and many volumes later, NCB continues to aid researchers in thoughtful design and effective implementation of experiments using new technologies. It has established itself as the authoritative serial that provides state-of-the-art methods for research scientists in a variety of interdisciplinary fields. An aspect of how the series has uh, grown is that the volumes are not just for the cell biology field or the cell biologists, but as Les just said, uh, as engineers start studying problems in cells, as biophysicists start studying problems in cells, as the geneticists you know, start studying problems in cells, Methods in cell biology volumes are the ideal volumes for them because uh, they're asking the questions in the context of the cell. And we put the volumes together. The audience for the volumes are the graduate student, the technician, the postdoc, uh, the researcher, the PI, who, is, you know, who wants to ask questions uh, about how do I study this uh, in a cell. So, it's not just for cell biologists, it's people who want to be cell biologists. All MCB volumes, going back to number one, are available online via Cyverse Science Direct. What we've now compiled in Methods in Cell Biology is really a database of methods. And I think what the online edition enables us to do is to make available that content uh, to people uh, for very easy uh, access. And uh, so the ability to search what's in uh, the different volumes in Method Cell Biology and then to pick out that one chapter or several chapters that uh, you might find is, you know, is important for the experiment that you want to do, I think is you know, really uh, uh, an important uh, development in making uh, Methods in Cell Biology um, more accessible and more available uh, to the bench researcher. Be sure that your library subscribes to MCB so you don't miss any of these cutting edge volumes. Methods in Cell Biology, a critically acclaimed laboratory standard for more than 30 years, is still going strong. We hope you enjoyed watching the history of MCB. Visit our website to view additional webcasts on forthcoming volumes and learn how MCB can help your research.